Another one of our Jeep ratings leaders out there in Stephanie Gilmore taking on one of her long-time rivals in Silvana Lima. These two battled it out for world titles back in 2007, 2008, 2009. Really good conditions for, for a Silvana Lima, Stephanie Gilmore heat. I think uh, they suit both competitors. And we'll see Silvana draw off the bottom into this first section. Flattens out that first turn just a bit. Mixing it up, little tail throw there to finish. Oh, threw it up there for that last move, and Jeez. it looked like a board just came back and slapped her in the wow. face. I wonder if she got a hand up yeah, in time. I think she did. You can see she checked her hand, but always so crazy when you see stuff like that happen. Take a look at the replay here. And of course, uh, conditions even have changed once again. You know, that off the top there, generally you like to see it completed as one clean move. There she gets a little fin drift, but that makes her late. Of course, wow, she did get her hand up just before, but beautiful arc here. Love that technique as she wraps it all the way around in one move. And then here she sees the section and she sees it kicks the fins. A little extra flare there, but late to this section. She's gonna throw it up and similar to what we saw Felipe do, but the fin comes off, she does get the arm up to protect herself from uh, it hitting her head. But if she would, you know, similar to Felipe, if she got up there and did that late hit, we'd have seen a big score. Silvana has had the jump over Steph here at Bells Beach in a final before as she goes to a nice layback jam, but just gets a little caught, caught up in the lip there. Has improved a lot in the past couple of seasons and, and maybe just that Small wave scrapping has kind of been taken away. Taken away uh, as Steph Ooh. Gilmore takes her first ride and doesn't commit to it down the line, doesn't let go of a turn. What was interesting too is that she never was really truly looking and reacting to what Silvano was doing. Not at all. And here goes Lima now. Nice first turn. Bit of foam to deal with. Almost caught the nose rail, but dug it back up and finished that wave off pretty well on the inside. So just a 5.83 on a previous scoring ride. Record seven world titles at the moment. And Gilmore having a look at this one. Pretty deep, has to get going. Starts to drive down the line. Nice float. Caught behind for a moment. Ooh. And she's going to pull through the back. Ooh. There's a splash of the water. A little frustration showing. And she's done this several times this year already. Well, Silvana Lema might get a shot at the best wave that's come her way right now. Solid second turn. Rolling through to the inside. Plugs a, another floating re-entry on the end of that one. Trying to get rid of just a, a 5.83. She's hanging on to a couple of those at the moment. Gilmore now with an opportunity. Let's see what she can do. A setup turn into that next section. She's going to kick out now. She's had great success here in the past. And at the moment, she's having a look at an insider without priority. Digging in on this ride. Drifts that tail, brings it around, and banks hard <laughs> into the closeout section. Letting go of some frustration there. A smaller ride, but two of the more, or well, the last turn in particular, one of the more quality turns of this heat. Such a crazy style, too. I mean, I mean you talk about that kind of surfing happening you know, on a, a smaller inside wave. That's the kind of like punch that she has. And what does she need? 393. So let's check this out. It's not a super small wave, but look at that. Drifting in this stylish turn underneath the big knock knee hack. That was awesome. Well, you think about it, Steph Gilmore, what she did on, on that last turn, and just compare it to the scores that Silvana had generated with multiple maneuvers, that there was nothing really high risk in any of Silvana's surfing yeah. previously. It should be regarded as excellent surfing. The score should come accordingly. And uh, we'll see Silvana now. She has that air she can go to. Let's see. She's loading up the speed. Starts with a float here. Can get back to that open face. Grabs that rail. Tidy lip line float. She often goes to that, that grab. Just the two turns. Ooh, and then a big set. Steph's going to wear this one on the head. This is that lower tide, so it all automatically it starts to spread this line up. 
And she's swinging on this one. This is her opportunity. She's had some big buzzer beater moments already this year. And she's trying to save herself. First turn is quality. Second move, transitioning down the line. A tidy floater on the closeout. Done. And that was clean. Everyone knows it. So waiting on the numbers to come through. Gilmore leaves it to the last minute once again. Queen of the buzzer beater moments this year. That's for sure as the judges check out the replay. A well-constructed ride. And uh, plenty of variation there as well. And it was really close. A 4.77. And Gilmore just <laughs> gets ahead of Silvana Lima. Less than a point separating the two competitors. And Lima, she'll be kicking herself. She wasn't able to overcome a very shaky-looking Gilmore.